Hey there, I'm Liam, aka Brickster, and welcome back to Lego Mock Mondays. Today's a Wednesday, um, but instead of uploading a Mock Mondays this week, I was actually working on a Lego World Builder proposal, Young Ninjago. On to today's mock, we are looking at my second Lego Spider-Man building. This is based on Delmar's Delhi. It was a location in uh, Spider-Man Homecoming, but I kind of just did my own interpretation. This all is not necessarily based on any one movie or, um, you know, comic book or game. It's kind of taking what I like best from each of those and making my own Brickster Spider-Verse. As you can see, this deli is even larger than the last Spider-Man building. Both of these I kind of built as if they could be actual Lego sets. So. This one here, I was guessing might be like in the, I don't know, 60, $80 range, probably maybe, maybe closer to 60. This one here would probably be more like 80, 90, possibly even a hundred dollars. Probably not uh, that expensive, I'd hope, but I mean, Legos do kind of keep getting more expensive, so you never know. Now, these have more minifigures than would be able to come in sets that size, but for the display, I think it's really great to have plenty of civilians. Now, if LEGO were selling these sets, maybe they could also sell like a $15 or $20 like civilian set that just has a bunch of civilian minifigures. That would be pretty cool. But let's go ahead and take a look at some of the things that I added on to the first building. So starting on the ground story, I added a Dora Milaje from um, Black Panther. Not for any particular reason, I just thought it would be cool. Um, but you know, maybe I'll switch that out in the future. And I also added Spider-Ham here. When this is up against another building, it makes more sense because he's kind of relaxing, uh, eating his hot dog. Right here, I have Spider-Girl. Previously, I had Spider-Gwen on this building, but I actually built an apartment for Spider-Gwen, which I'll be sharing in a uh, upcoming video, so keep an eye out for that. Up here, we have um, Rio Morales, Miles Morales' mom, because this building is Miles' uh, apartment. And up top here, uh, it's hard to see, so I'll just pop this off. We have Prowler. He just attaches right here at the top, uh, and it puts him at a really cool angle there. Let's go ahead and take a look though at the next building. All right, here we have the ground story of Delmar's Deli. Now, as you can see, there's a bus stop here. Um, this is Shocker. He is causing some havoc down here. I kind of went all out with the villains on this one, uh, having a, a bunch of different ones, because I was like, hey, why not? It, it, it would be fun to kind of, it's a, it's a large building, and it would be fun to just have a lot of different stuff happening. Over here we have White Tiger, she is running down to, I guess, face off against Shocker, while Miles here is swinging up toward what's farther up, we'll get to that in a minute. A couple of civilians fleeing Shocker. We have some nice posters on the wall here, and um, Spidey himself running up the wall. Now, this is made to be a set, right? Like, I built it thinking it could be a set. So, I built some play features. For example, this bus stop, if you uh, push this, the bench will fall over. So if you have a minifig seated on it just like this, well, it creates for kind of a cool action feature. Before we go any farther up, let's take a look at this nice interior here. First, we have Mr. Delmar, who is uh, the owner of the shop and is noticing what's happening outside his window. That's kind of why he looks upset there. Um, back here, we have the uh, sandwich counter with some different ingredients. Um, and he has like his cash register. There's a bunch of stuff on the wall, as well as, um, you know, just some extra added details to make it feel really authentic. Now, as far as play features go, if you actually push down on this little tab here, then this whole shelf pops off, and so if you're staging a battle in here, uh, you know, you can get some pretty cool action out of that. This uh, sandwich maker has its own play feature. If you tip this up so that it's not covering uh, where the sandwich is back in there, like the uh, the sub. Then, if you push down on this little Technic piece here, 
it actually launches this sandwich. So if uh, if Shocker is able to get on in here, you can just have Mr. Delmar, you know, bombard him with subs, and uh, I'm pretty sure uh, Mr. Delmar will save the day. While we're looking at interiors, why not take a look at this second story? Back here we have like Mr. Delmar's little eating area. He's got some pictures up on the walls. Um, his clock. Over here we have the kitchen. Um, I tried to make this kind of simple, but have a kind of nice feel like, you know, he's an older uh, single man, so he doesn't have like a ton of decoration going on. I was able to use like this little um, tea plate that came on Professor Trelawney from the Harry Potter minifigure series. I never thought that I would use that. Now I built this sign using um, holes in the back and then all the other parts are clipped on some of them are sideways so this here is my Lego rendition of the Cuban flag in the movie it never specifies where Mr. Delmar is from but I just thought you know maybe he's Cuban uh, it's a it's a cool touch and the Cuban flag was I believe in the um, Spider-Man PS5 Miles Morales video game which I played and really enjoyed and uh, it, it was a mural a bit like this but a lot larger on the side of the building so I was like hey it'd be cool to kind of put that vibe into here as well. Now inside this story there's actually quite a bit of detail. Let's start with the bathroom over here. We have a full shower, uh, a bath mat, the nice checkered floor. There's a little toilet with it. <laughs> Mr. Delmar has a pink toilet cover, maybe fuzzy toilet cover. Um, the uh, little sink over there it's you know it's a compact space um and over here we have his little um desk lamp on his nightstand and a lamp his and his bed now this uh, mural does show through on this side which is a little bit funny but you know it's legos and over here we actually have another play feature uh, there's this uh, air conditioning unit where if you grab this and pull it out It just pulls out this huge chunk of wall and uh, you know if you've got a minifigure using the restroom there That's a that's a pretty funny setup right there So this here is the top of the building first off. We've got mr. Delmar's cat uh, That was in the movie and uh, I felt that was very important to include He does not seem to be bothered by these super villains up here here we have Scorpion. Now this is a completely original figure. The head is from Shredder, the hair is from like a Monkey Kid character, and I just created this claw piece. The arm is from like Thor from Thor Ragnarok, and that's a Star Wars torso. So you know, it has a lot of stuff going on, but I felt like it was a really cool combo to create a very menacing looking Scorpion. He's got like this huge tail with this piece from maybe Chima, I think, up here. And uh, I actually used a uh, clear pole to pose him so that, you know, these legs would stay in place. They don't actually attach to studs. And there goes the cat. Uh, around back here, you can see there's like this little spider bot. But uh, let's move up a bit and see Vulture. So this Vulture, I also customized somewhat. The wings are completely original. They have some nice turbines, some really cool angles, and these nice, sh really sharp looking katana pieces. Um, he also has ball joints that attach those wings, which means that, you know, you can get a lot of different poses with them. I also have him attached on a ball joint to this clear um, rod that's coming up here that allows him to look like he's flying. Now he's got like this big blaster kind of like in the um, Spider-Man Homecoming movie. Huh, well the cat seems to have been taking a nap back here, but um, while I, when I displayed this at Brick Fair, uh, Virginia 2021, I actually had Miles um, kind of webbing Vulture um, just attached right on the back there. So yeah, at Brick Fair, Miles was way up here and he was like, uh, coming down through the sky toward uh, Vulture, which made for a really cinematic, you know, look there. Okay, so here you can see the entirety of the display. I finally found an angle in this room that would work for it, with Spider-Man all the way up there, and, you know, everything else going on down here. Uh-oh, I just found the cat again. 
this cat like literally falls off so often but anyhow yeah this is the combined thing just wait till you see it with more buildings because it gets even cooler anyhow let me know what you think about it down in the comments below if you enjoyed seeing the details in my brand new Spider-Man building, leave a like and definitely subscribe because in the coming weeks, I'll be uploading more of these. Anyhow, until next time, keep on building. Peace.